I'm just uh, scanning for that blacksmith office. <laughs> it's there and they have state-of-the-art equipment. All right, hello again. Today's adventure is... We're at the Arkansas River Trail, and yes, that is correct. Locals tell us it is not the Arkansas River. It's an absolutely gorgeous late November day. Enjoy the sights and sounds. We're starting this walk at Douglas Street, which is a great jump off point to many directions, both the trail and to downtown. So this is the starting point for two of our other videos for our downtown and old town Wichita video and our Arkansas River Trail going southbound. Today we're going northbound. Yeah, and as you can see, it's just really cool. You're, you're right at the uh, edge of downtown, so you can see the apartments and the high rises in the distance. And then on the left is a really cool apartment complex as well. So just really like this access point. a little west of the Arkansas River actually sort of integrates itself into it as you can see from the, the water ahead here. And the water level is really low right now. All summer the water level is real high and there'd be turtles sunning themselves along the wall here. I can't tell you what a beautiful day it is. It's gonna hit 70 degrees here and it's November 29th. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. That isn't typical for here. No. Uh, it's basically record-breaking type of temperature, but... Uh, we'll take it. Yeah, in fairness, really this fall has been more or less gorgeous. Uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s it's pretty much sunny. throughout the entire last two months. It's been fantastic. All right, straight ahead is Keeper of the Plains. That's uh, made its appearance in our downtown Old Town Wichita video. And also will be the, uh, the ending of this particular hike. It's definitely Wichita's most famous and recognizable landmark, so I'm sure it'll show up in future videos as well. So we're going northbound on the Arkansas River Trail and we've done this trail actually quite a few times. We did it in the middle of summer when it was really hot but the trees were covered in leaves so it did offer quite a bit of shade. Today's a perfect day to do it. We've never gone southbound on the trail so we're not entirely sure how far you can go that way or what that part of the trail looks like so perhaps in a future video we will get southbound and see what that brings. Yeah, well definitely make that a priority here in the next few weeks and we'll probably just label it part two. Mm -hmm.
I were directly across the Arkansas River looking at the Cowtown Museum. Very popular attraction in Wichita. In addition to just its museum status, it also does a variety of events, including some for the holidays. So the old Cowtown Museum is what Wichita looked like in 1865. So it's a living history museum, it, common to the Midwest cattle town. So you can see the blacksmith office, the saloon, and uh, all kinds of fun things. And then they do reenactments at certain times of year. We uh, are obviously winging this as we go. I'm pretty sure there is no blacksmith office. <laughs> Probably not. Blacksmith shop is With what With the I fax mean. machine. <laughs> awesome. I'm just uh, scanning for that blacksmith office. <laughs> it's there and they have state-of-the-art equipment. All right, we are now crossing to the other side on the infamous Blacksmith Office Bridge. <laughs> okay, next time you say something wrong on camera, <laughs> I will be sure to hammer it home. <laughs> With my blacksmith anvil from my office. <laughs> oh shit, I say a lot of stupid things. We're now on the east side of the river going southbound back toward where we started. And you can't see it in these pictures, but to our left is Botanica, which is a botanical gardens here in Wichita. It was opened in 1987 as a collaboration between the Wichita Garden Council and the city. And it's actually owned by the city. They do quite a few events there and it's adjacent to Cowtown, which you're seeing here. And things from concerts, light shows, and a variety of fun festivals. So hopefully we'll do a video from Botanica at some time. Yeah, they definitely do a huge holiday light display Although I don't know how easy something like that would be to capture, but I think that's something we'll do uh, in the next month. And uh, we've been there actually twice for two different charity events. Mm -hmm. um, one was, I think, a microbrew festival, barbecue microbrews, and the other one uh, was like a tribute concert. So it's a great venue here in downtown Wichita. You can see that this is an access point for kayaks and canoes and we know that in the late fall and winter the water levels are low but the water level is really low here you can't quite tell but it's not more than a few inches in fact birds were standing out in the middle of the river so it's hard to believe you can kayak or canoe in it at all especially canoe all right Looks like it's the end of the road for this side. So we have to backtrack across the bridge back on the side we came from, but we'll meet up with you again at Keeper of the Plains.
All right, we're back here at Keeper of the Plains. We're in in the video here, partly because it's just a cool place to end the video, but mostly because we have a real hankering for some bite me barbecue and a beer, and that's a different direction than back to the car. So with that said, we kind of like to wrap up with uh, what our personal highlights are. Caroline, you start. I think my highlight is we've been on this trail spring, summer, and fall now, and it's beautiful every time, but 70 degrees at the end of November is my highlight of the day. Yeah, it's hard to beat that. Uh, for me, uh, I mean, in addition to the fact it's just absolutely beautiful, is I'm just constantly amazed at how nice of a, a town Wichita actually is. Every time we come down, we enjoy it. It's just a clean, really nice town and uh, kind of happy that we're here for a little while. So with that said, get off the couch and we'll see you at the next adventure. Cheers.